So last weekend, I ended up seeing this phenomenal documentary called uh, 14 Peaks on Netflix. It's about this godlike person named Spurja, who's done uh, something that I thought was impossible, which is climb the 14 highest mountains in the world in, in six and a half months. Something that uh, it takes people seven years to do. And a number of visuals there uh, were from Everest, um, uh, they hike up to Everest. And uh, I did that hike about a couple of years ago. It's one of the hardest things I have done. And I, you know, Everest and Everest Base Camp hike has been on top of my mind. And uh, uh, I was just thinking about the lessons that I learned uh, while doing that hike, which I have brought in to build Launchable, right? Um, I think building a startup is one of the harder things you can do. And uh, I was uh, thinking about those lessons. So here you go. Uh, here are the nine lessons that I learned from my hike to Everest Base Camp, which I think are applicable to uh, building a startup. So number one is find a mission that you love, right? Uh, building a startup or building uh, uh, hiking up to base camp is one of the hardest things you can do, right? So finding a mission that you absolutely love that, you know, when you are down and when you're up, you can, when you're down, especially, you can look up and say like, you know, that mission is what captivates me, is what keeps me going, is really important. So find a mission, an idea that you absolutely would not mind spending the next 10 years of your life working on and making it happen. Number two, base camp hike is fairly hard, right? Um, there are lots of highs, there are lots of lows, especially when you get up in the morning and there's no hot water and you're taking a shower with cold water, uh, <laughs> uh, it gets hard, right? So find a team, uh, find a set of people that you really enjoy doing this hard journey with, right? So finding my set of friends who were really passionate about this journey and really wanted to do this was equally important, right? So in this uh, case, when you are building a startup, find like-minded people who you would not mind working with, you in fact enjoy working with for the next 10 years of your life. Three, uh, while we were hiking up, we had this phenomenal guide his name was Bijay Lama. Uh, he was guiding us throughout the journey. He's somebody who's done this multiple times. He's actually done the base camp hike. At that point, it was like about 45 times. So he knew every corner. He knew what's coming up. He knew where the risks were. He knew, you know, what our strengths and um, uh, weaknesses were. And he was able to sort of guide us in the right way. Uh, a startup is something equivalent. I, I always talk about it takes a village to bring us, you know, bring a startup, you know, a child up. In a similar way, it takes a village to build a startup up. So find mentors in various areas, in areas that you have strengths in and you have weaknesses in, so that you get uh, an outside-in perspective from people who really care about you and will help you make the right decisions. Number four is have a plan, right? Uh, in our case, with the base camp, uh, it's a 10-day hike. You know, the milestones were set up by Vijay. We knew exactly if we were like marching right where we would be by the middle of the day, if we didn't reach there, where, you know, we are slow, or if you're moving too fast. It's the same with a startup. Um, have a plan. And, ha you know, most importantly, this plan is around, uh, you know, what your go-to-market hypothesis is. What are some of the milestones that you need, need to hit along the way? And, uh, it, you more more or less you may not hit them but at least you'll know what needs to happen and you can go back to your mentors to kind of think about and plan on the fly number five is um it's a one step at a time journey when you start off the day uh, on the base camp hike um, you're starting at eight and you go up till 6 p.m and you're going up and down there's no point starting the day visualizing that you'll be on the top of the mountain. Yeah, it, it inspires you, but it is really the process, is the work that you put in. So every day you come in and you log some work and you sort of manage your workload 
it's not about putting 40 hours or yeah, sorry 80 hours a week it's really managing your process and doing it deliberately so do that one step at a time number six is be prepared right so to get to base camp you had to train about a year, a year or like eight months before heading to base camp and so that we kind of knew what our strengths and weaknesses were when we walked into the base camp hike in a similar manner when you bring this team together find what your strengths and what your weaknesses are right and uh, as you build that plan you'll not hit those things and when you don't hit those things you can at least lean back to your strengths and we and you know avoid the areas where your weaknesses are right so be prepared number seven is celebrate milestones right the hike is long uh, uh, taking a startup and growing it is a very very long journey it's a marathon or maybe it's more than a marathon actually so celebrate the milestones too often I see people who are building startups, they are in the mode of solving problem after problem after problem, and then it just becomes a long list of problems that you're tackling. When you hit a milestone, pause, enjoy that milestone, right? Number eight, have a sense of humor, right? As the journey goes up and down, um, it's going to be problematic, right? So enjoy the ups and downs, but have a you know humor um, as you have humor as you go along on that journey, right? Uh, an example that comes to my mind is like when you're crossing a bridge on, over these rivers um, in, in the Sagarmatha National Park, uh, you can have a yak that's coming from across that road bridge and it's in a sense of panic and it can throw you off the bridge. So for us, the humor was to see us running out, you know, when you saw a yak coming from the other side of the bridge is to scamper back and run off the bridge so that you're not, you're not being thrown off the bridge. So find humor in small things, right? And last, number nine, is enjoy the hike, right? Um, base camp hike has one of the prettiest, prettiest visuals in the world. And there's no point actually just... Uh, keeping your visors on and just walking from the start to the end if you don't enjoy the journey. In a similar manner, uh, building a startup is an interesting hike. You know, there's lots of interesting things that happen along the way. So enjoy that journey and, you know, enjoy the, the whole uh, uh, path. So that's it. Uh, those were some of the lessons that I learned from uh, my journey to Everest Base Camp that I brought in to, you know, help build uh, Launchable. Thank you.